corrosion uh, is the leading cause of degradation of uh, equipment and assets uh, pretty well worldwide. It costs uh, the global economy two and a half trillion US dollars per year. In fact, five tons of steel are lost every second of the day globally uh, through corrosion. I don't see or don't know any kind of industry that's not dealing with corrosion somehow. A CUI is corrosion under insulation and any place where you see a big chemistry set at an industrial scale, typically the systems are protected with uh, cladding over the insulation. They're originally hermetically sealed so that uh, moisture won't get in, but over time uh, you, you get breaches in that armor, so to speak. Moisture finds its way in and it's not a matter of if but when a uh, coating that's been exposed to moisture for a prolonged period will fail. No one can see it. Even if you send someone to search for it, they cannot see it. It's, it's under installation. It has happened. It has done the damage. Now they search for it, they find it, and again, get back to the maintenance uh, procedure. The costs of the personnel, the costs of um, having to rebuild everything that you had to take um, away and off to do the visual inspection. The cost of replacing the corroded items themselves, there is not infinite numbers of resources within the planet and if we want these pipes or shape hulls or whatever it is to live longer and be of use for us for a longer time we have to protect them for longer what we're proposing is we've effectively got a skin a paint on the pipework that acts just like your own human skin when it gets damaged if you get bitten by a mosquito you sort of know where it is and you smack your hand there well our system will be able to sort of detect when the coating has failed in real time. COPS is intelligent digital skin. It is intelligent. The first duty of the skin is to provide corrosion protection against the substrate. When it gets damaged, our technology sends signal to the controller that we have over there. The controller gets the signal. It can, let's say, send, send a notification signal to say, OK, there's a damage there. And then it can locate exactly where the damage is. And beside it, it provides supplementary corrosion protection over it. The technology uses coating integrated impressed current cathodic protection. It's a bit of a mouthful, but it's a technology that's been around for a long time. This is the first time that it's actually been delivered through a coating. We can alert people who uh, spend time hunting for it that they've got a problem over here, but it's not that big a problem because we've got it covered and uh, they may not have to do anything about it ever. They can monitor it over time. It's a regulation for the ships to dry dock, to do the inspection two times in five years to make sure everything is, is right with it. Even after dry docking, they need to remove the coating to search for it and find it. And we're aiming to replace that with the uh, persistent digital presence that'll be always there, always on, always monitoring. And, and uh, I think it'll make a big difference in the bottom line to companies that there, you know, there'll be less unplanned shutdowns because of corrosion under installation, uh, lower risk associated with uh, process hazards uh, that you know could lead to catastrophic failures and, and you know, disasters, really. The technology itself, though, we believe has a deep sort of pool of future applications. This is what I would call revolutionary. It can be applied to everything. If our end goal is minimal emissions and um, asset management and making sure that the integrity of everything lasts as long as possible, this is the perfect solution.